Uh, very good afternoon to everyone and uh, thank you for coming for this uh, press conference. I have been uh, joined here by our Commissioner Secretary for Finance, Government of Meghalaya, uh, the MD from uh, MCAB, that's Meghalaya Cooperative Apex Bank, and also the MD of Meghalaya Rural Bank. Uh, friends, the Meghalaya Cooperative Apex Bank has been serving the people of Meghalaya since 1971. Over the years, bank has become a household name in Meghalaya and has consistently been making profits over the years. All the branches of the bank are on core banking solution platform and the bank is providing several other services such as mobile banking, RTGS, IMPS, NEFT and ATM services to its customers. Presently, the bank is availing of technical support from Yes Bank for operationalizing some of its services. As you're aware, the Reserve Bank of India has put Yes Bank under moratorium on 5th of March 2020. As a result, some of the services of the Meghalaya Cooperative Apex Bank has been temporarily disrupted and efforts are being made to restore these services at the earliest. I would like to add that clearly the foundations of that, that Clearly, the foundations of both these banks are very strong and uh, whatever challenges right now that Yes Bank is facing has no impact on the foundation and the financial strength and uh, soundness of both the MRB and the MCAB. It just so happens that some of the services that are being provided on the technical platforms that are there on the Yes Bank platform are being availed through the Yes Bank. Otherwise, no impact is there on the financial found, uh, foundation and the soundness of both these banks. The Meghalaya Cooperative Epic Bank is fully committed to and is in a sound financial position to honor all of its commitments to its customers and request its customers to bear with the bank during this time. The government of Meghalaya has assured that there is no intention to withdraw any of its deposits from Meghalaya Cooperative Epic Bank since it is confident that the banks of the bank's well-being. The Reserve Bank of India, wide notification, DCBRCO RCBD number 02 slash 19.51.025 slash 2019 2020, dated 30th of September, uh, 20, 30th of August 2019, has also conferred special state, scheduled status to the Megalite Cooperative Apex Bank Limited. 025/2019/2020, dated 30th of September, uh, 20, 30th of August 2019, has also conferred special state, scheduled status to the Meghalaya Cooperative Apex Bank Limited. A clear indication of the financial soundness and the strength of the bank. It has also come to our notice that some mischievous messages are being circulated through social media urging people to withdraw their funds from both the Meghalaya Cooperative Bank and the Meghalaya Rural Bank. In this regard, the Meghalaya Cooperative Apex Bank Limited has already lodged an FIR with Sadar Police Station Shalom. Uh, if there are any questions that any, anybody has, then we'll be happy to answer the questions. Both our MDs from Rural Bank as well as from the Cooperative Apex Bank are here with us. Thank you. Uh, the mobile banking, RTGS, IMPS, NEFT services, and to some extent, some of the ATM services, which require the technical support and technical uh, channel of the S Bank, have been temporarily affected. Both the banks, uh, in fact, in the rural Meghalaya Rural Bank, uh, it is only the check clearing uh, facility or the service uh, has been temporarily affected. But we would like to also inform all the citizens and the customers of both these banks that the bank has already started making alternative arrangements with other technical partners and other banks to ensure that both these services and both these banks are able to provide all the above mentioned services at the earliest. Point is that there is no need to panic. We want to stress on the fact that the foundations of these banks are not affected. The Yes Bank also, there is a bailout package that is being done by the government of India. Uh, but that is a different story altogether. 
but the point being that the financial soundness of MCAB and the financial soundness of the Meghalaya Rural Bank have no connection with the current status of Yes Bank. And it is only the technical service which was uh, being availed through Yes Bank uh, because of the technical backbone that uh, Yes Bank had is the only part which will be temporarily affected for a few days. And in the meantime, both these banks are in talks with different banks to put up a uh, parallel or uh, you know, more uh, so, uh, a parallel setup to ensure that these services resume at the earliest. That's basically the summarization of everything.